Uh, on va parler maintenant de... Uh, We are about providing watch or registration services for Frogan's addresses. So I'm going to call the partners of the Frogan's Award, who are FCRs, Frogan's Account Administrators. So via Pesque, Ramanu Biao, Mathieu Aubert, and Aurélien Props. So why four people at the same time? Well, just because these are the partners of the Frogan's Award with a final as of 8 o'clock tonight. We had very nice conversations with our four partners and we found them very complimentary uh, for their geographical distribution or presence. And you'll see that they are present uh, in different countries and that offers a very good uh, uh, geographical coverage. As Frogan's technology is international, it has to be available in Europe, in Africa, in America, in the Antarctic, and I probably forgot some continents and countries. So let's talk about FCRA or services con relating related to uh, address registering. So ladies first, Via. Switch to English. So if you're uh, uh, channel one, go to two, or vice versa. Hello. So thank you so much, Via. Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. Je suis désolée, je n'ai pas beaucoup de confiance. Faut parler en français. Well, that's really good. Um, Via, you yes. maybe we have this, a few slides for Via. Okay. Do we see them? Uh, you're representing okay. a company called uh, Net NetPia, right? Yes. Um, so we can see here our CEO, Mr. Pan Zhong Li, and he wants to extend his sincere apologies for not being able to attend here today. Um, so NetPia is established in, by Mr. Pan Zhong Li in 1995, and um, we are first in the world to offer an internet real name domain solution in uh, in the native languages for brands and company names. So in Korea, before we offered uh, a direct connection, instead of um, internet users typing www.co.kr, stuff like that, they can just type the brand name and the company name, and they're connected directly. So actually, it, act, um, it helped bridge the digital gap for non-English speaking users. So, so many in Korea um, started using the internet because of that. A lot of people in Korea don't speak English. Yes. Uh, okay. During that time. And uh, I think the younger and older generation until now. Excellent. And so yes. when we met, uh, I think it was last year, Dublin. Uh, in Dublin at the yes. uh, ICANN meeting, uh, you, you told me that, uh, what, what was your first, sorry, your first um, uh, reaction when you saw what was then, for, for your first time, the, the Fergus technology? Uh, actually, it was very interesting because I think um, Fergus technology and NetPia uh, have are looking at the same direction because in 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 Asia there are like 90 different languages and most of these languages and not really most but so many of these languages they use characters instead of the alphabet so, so although English is widely used in Asia already but there are still so many people who are not confident mm -hmm. in using the English English language so for us to enable to overcome the digital divide and for people to use more uh, the internet, we have this. So in NetPia, like uh, I mentioned, we have direct connection by the use of keywords in native languages. So when we saw, I think we, I was with my vice president that time, mm -hmm. and we saw that Frogan's technology is also looking at the same direction into um, providing users easier access to the internet and that is what Frogans is looking at. So there's compatibility. Excellent. So, so that's why we're interested. Yes. And when we saw this, uh, all those languages here are yes. actually available 
uh, with the fragrance uh, technology, so you can register fragrance names and fragrance addresses using all those uh, yes. lang languages. Um, can you tell us, um, maybe in a, in a second, what NetPIA means? It's Network uh, Internet Utopia. Internet Utopia. Internet so it, it's kind of a, a little dream yes. at the scale of Asia <laughs> in this case. So you yes. are uh, selling or reselling, um, distributing uh, fragrance addresses right now? Yes, right now. And I wanted to, sh to uh, finish this quick interview with a, a site, a fragrance site yes. that was uh, developed that's open right now. Is it working? The it is working. Uh, and we, we opened it. <laughs> The copy and paste because we cannot type yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the the little thing we we had to to type to copy and paste the address because of course it's an address in Korean. Yes. Yeah. So we'll show you uh, Jean Manuel will show you um, the um, the look at that site. Can you see it exactly? So that's a NetPia site. Everything is in Korean except for two uh, two words here. The address is Korean. So the first word before the the asterisk is Frogans in Korean. So yes. it's a, it's, it is a, another fragrance public network. And the, the word at, after the star, after the asterisk, is NetPIA in Korea. Yes. Exactly. Uh, with that site, you can check the availability of fragrance oh. addresses. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you can see if it works. Exactly. And then, uh, of course, you have to type in Korean to see Korean. for that uh, network if it, if it works or not. So here is an example. This site is available and running at uh, fragrance star Korea, uh, NetPIA in Net Korean address. Yes, um, and we hope uh, you have a lot of success in uh, all over Asia with yeah, the dresses. Yeah, since we're the first in Asia to, to be the FCR, so I'm really looking forward to that. Exactly, the first <laughs> uh, FCR account administrator in Asia, NetPIA, represented here by Via Pesquet. Thank you. Thank you. Je repasse en français. On continue en anglais si tu veux, non? <laughs> like you want me to continue in English. So Ramanu Biao. Ramanu, you come from Benin and you're coordinating a project called Africa DNS Check. So it means that it rain it has a scope which is much wider than just Benin. Can you tell us more about Africa DNS Check project? I'm Ramanu Biao, coming from Benin, as was said, and I'm a member of the Africa DNS Check Project. This project is a large community project that was initiated in Benin, but which today covers Benin, Botswana, Senegal, and South Africa. And we have contributors coming from all these countries. So the project aims at setting up tools to ensure internet resilience in Africa, especially with regards to the DNS infrastructure. So we have, we're working on two tools. There is the Africa DNS check tools. That's a tool that's going to help us make measurements on network matrix matrices. And then we have the another tool, which is the abuse tool for reporting example, if you're hacked or you get spammed. But the specificity is that if this is for end users. So by we can have users don't always have the visibility to know how to get access to these contacts. So they would have this uh, platform available. Great. What kind of initiatives will um, Africa DNS Jack take in the future? Well, in the future, after we met in Marrakesh, we made some headways, and uh, we first want to raise awareness. At the moment, I'm restricting myself to uh, Benin, because I'm more familiar with that. So I want to raise awareness with the uh, technology community. We want them to uh, know what the Frogan's technology is about. And as of October, I want to raise awareness amongst users so that they have an interest in visiting Frogan's sites. The next step is about public data, which is 
available. So we started thinking as to how we could implement a watch of Rogan's addresses, which could be interesting for those who want to do marketing with uh, various topics being managed, like geographical aspects, marketing aspects. We're working on that. Okay, so a watch program on direct technologies. Would it be just for Africa? No, it, it would be... Uh, Frogan, Frogan's is a global technology, so it won't just cover Africa. And we had an interest in that because within Africa DNS Jack, we look at the technologies of the Internet. And for us, Frogan's technology is a, an Internet technology. So we started a few months ago, and maybe there are many things we'll be able to do later, but at the moment, these are the aspects we started working on. Well, thank you very much for this initiative. Thank you, Romanu Vianu, for the uh, of Africa DNS check. To my left, we have uh, uh, Aurelia Prop from Jean Kit. You know them because they were part of the Frogans Award um, first edition. They're still with us. So can you say a few words? We've seen a site which was... Um, GeneKit branded. What are the services offered by GeneKit? Well, GeneKit, under the Frogan's Editors brand, we try and work around the Frogan's technology. So we have a first hat, which is that of an FCRA, then developers of Frogan's site, then we support the uh, creation of Frogan sites, and we try and think about marketing positionings, how Frogan's technology can make the difference and can help uh, get markets. Uh, uh, with websites, etc., how Frogan's technologies can be a complementary and differentiating uh, factor for more traditional uh, internet uh, solutions. And we're also hosting, providing hosting services. So you're welcome at uh, Jean Kit and Frogan's editors. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We try and offer a wide range of services. You were talking about training, so that's something that we're thinking about at the moment. Training to uh, FSDL technology. That's a lot to do, but there is a lot to do. And that's what's fascinating with this project, is that everything needs to be built. So hosting, training, development, address uh, registration thank you very much indeed so last but not least Mathieu Aubert from Sebron so for those of you who've uh, followed our form former conferences, you've heard about Seabrant's Safe Branch because they're an early adopter. So can you say what C Safe Branch are doing at the moment? Hi, I'm Mathieu Bach. I work with the Safe Branch company and I'm their legal director and I'm in charge of relationships with uh, registr registrars, registrars or administrators and we're in charge of many different tasks such as managing our monitoring uh, products, uh, recovery uh, services, etc. And Safe Brands was set up as a corporate registration office. Our core business is the registration of domain name for various companies who hold brands and they want to protect their brands on the internet. So, we offer the registration of domain name and then port managing management of portfolio throughout the world and over the years we got used to managing domain names at international level and this is something that we liked with the Frogan's technology that it's a worldwide technology so we try and be a one-stop shop, so to speak, rather than a registrar. We want to be 
a consulting company for everything related to brand communication on the internet. Okay, and you have set up a new department for the monitoring of Frogan's addresses. So I, so I heard, yes, we do monitor and have a watch activity on domain names on many different platforms. And we've recently revamped our uh, monitoring uh, policy and or platform. And we included uh, Frogan's products and addresses to our platform. So now we can audit or offer surveillance and monitoring services for the addresses that we'll have to uh, monitor. Okay, thank you. Let's go with the presentation of two small Frogan's tests from Safe Brands. One is with it's Frogan's Star Safe Brands, if I'm not mistaken. For this would be that's a corporate website. That's an original way for your company to be to introduce yourself on the company on, on the screen instead of having, you know, the traditional rectangular page. That's what a Frogan's site would be. It's a corporate presentation and if you click here about us, different approach about us. Okay, let's click on that one. And then you can navigate. So you have a short, so it's not very rich in terms of text, but there are lots of uh, pictures and illustrations. And then when you go back to home, you just click on the logo and you can navigate on another Frogan's site, which is this one, bottom right, yeah. Frogan's site names. It opens a second Frogan site, that's a different function, which is the verification of address availability that works on the same model as the websites, but it's branded safe brand. So from there, I can check whether a site name is available and I can register it on the Frogan's site. Yes, and we were ordering, after the opening of network, we were offering the registration of uh, uh, sites, and we've worked together on developing this new, uh, this new site. Okay, so for Safe Brands, Mathieu Aubert, thanks a lot. Merci beaucoup. Donc les prestataires qu'on a autour de nous. Okay, thank you. And again, the folks we have on stage are partners of Frogwins Awards too. They are uh, FCR account administrators. Some of uh, them would also do um, surveillance or monitoring. We promised we would talk about uh, monitoring, but because we are running uh, behind, we decided to uh, spend more time with our partners instead and let them tell about what they're going to do. And our uh, head of legal, Julie Laurent, is here. We will have a break, uh, um, a dinner break, in a moment. And uh, hopefully you will get a chance to talk to her. Um, she's done the same thing with the people who are here on stage with me. And she can help you. She can tell you how public data, how FCR open data can be used to provide registration services. And if you have any questions on Frogan's address registrations, uh, again, she's more than uh, happy to help you. Philip, well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for being partners of the Frogan's Awards. The awards will be later. It'll be one of the highlights of today's conference. I can't wait. Thank you uh, again to all of you.